This is what we're going to use to start our cocoa mix. Now it says buffered. You can trust that or not. I mean, I, I've grown with this a few times and haven't had any issues. But then again, I periodically give them CalMag anyways. So I tend not to have CalMag issues. But if not, and, it, and you know, if it's not buffered completely, and you don't give CalMag, you know, religiously or every other or just any any at all, you will have CalMag deficiencies. With that being said, I haven't had an issue. I give CalMag anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you how I do mine, get my mix ready. Let's get into it. Okay, everybody. Now with this cocoa, it does say that it makes oh shit focus it makes 18 gallons now I've come to find out after using this a you know a few times that it's roughly about 15 gallons 16 gallons but that's just fine you know depending on how much co or uh, perlite and whatnot that you mix in you might get there other than that went and bought the uh went and bought me a new 27 gallon tote just to rehydrate this in every tote that I had has gone here or there or busted or broke or for whatever reason gets fucked up so here we are went and bought a new tote so we're gonna put this into the tote throw in some hot water let it rehydrate now let me give you a tip we do not know the pH of this once it's hydrated. So if you just throw in regular tap water, chances are your tap water pH is going to end up either raising this or lowering it depending where you're at. So what I recommend is when you rehydrate your coconut core into your totes, I recommend you pH it. That way you're getting a head start on the soil pH being already correct. You don't want to start out with problems. I barely use this thing, but is an investment you have to have. Do not invest in a cheap one, you will regret it. You'll buy two or three of them every other year. Invest in a good one. I use Blue Lab. We'll put a little bit more in. The pH of this water was 8.8. .8. So if I would have hydrated this cocoa with this 8.8, .8, it would have been high. So when I go to transplant my plants into it, it's no bueno. We're at 7.0. That's reasonable. I can work with that. Do like to get it at least in the at least there we go. 6.9. 6.8. I'll deal with that. I'm good with that. As you can see, 6.7, 6.8. I'm good with that. All right, let's get this moving.
Now we'll grab us five gallons of hot water, pH it the same way, do the same thing. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to move this over. Every four of these is a gallon. One, two, three, four, that's two gallons. I think we'll work with that for right now. <clears throat> now for our six gallons. We're just gonna eyeball it.
do have a mask on this time. That looks like we'll mix this up first before we mix up our nutrients. Okay, since we are flipping them into flour, we're going to do a 50-50 ratio of the 2A4 and the 444 all purpose. Okay, so let's do the math. The math is that 7 gallons three tablespoons per gallon. So three times seven, 21. Half of 21 is what? 10 and a half. So we will do 10 of the 444 and 11 of the, of the bloom. Four, eight, back with the 284 bloom. I'm almost out. I need to resupply. Four. Eight. Eleven. Sure, I break it up. I don't want any concentrated pockets. All right, that's ready to go. 